Namaste, kings and queens. Just getting off of work. Put my head up like a zone. Gotta look cool steady. Swag on. <laughs> I crap myself up. Okay, so today I want to address something that has been on my mental all day. And this is to a specific person, but it's many people that probably can benefit from this that will benefit if it is you, if you happen to come across this video. Quit punishing yourself. Why do you hate yourself so much? Every waking moment that you are experiencing, every moment that you take a breath, inhale and exhale, is another moment for you to alter this state of being that you have placed yourself in to alter your, like shift your energy. If you have been, um, say for example, you have done negative things in your life that impacted you and the state that you're in is a state of suffering and you don't, you don't know how, you don't know anything else because it's been so long that you've been suffering. Therefore you uh, reflect, uh, project yourself onto other people as you know pretty much that you hate yourself because you hate them you show them that uh, you're a negative person you're always negative you're like negative Nancy for example um, you, you don't have no optimism in you you don't have any type of uh, light in you you have dimmed your light so much that you nearly put out your light but you are still existing therefore you have some light it's not all the way out you have some light you can choose uh, whether you want to grow that light or stay in the same existence of having such a dim light that all around you is darkness and that's all that you can see and project. You just see darkness in people and it's really in yourself. It's like you looking at the mirror when you look at other people. So I personally know somebody um, who pretty much has like a, a super dim light and they're very negative like very very negative they don't want to see um, anybody do better than them and um, they're incessantly judging themselves and I say better than them because they're judging themselves based off of um, them uh, attempting to sabotage somebody else's life um, wanting to be the judge or dictator of somebody else's life and always in a negative mode <sighs> nothing is this person is not a happy person and you can detail what they do, you know, the things that they do, the, the low vibrational activities that they do, like smoke, smoking and drinking and, you know, doing a lot of cussing and just, you know, always, always in a negative light, man. And I'm really not feeling that, but I'm getting to the point where I understand why they're doing that. It's because they hate themselves. They hate what they've done. They sold, they sold when they were younger. This is an older person, too, by the way. They became bitter because of uh, the choices that they made. And even if they got a hand that was dealt to them, that wasn't so, uh, what, what should I say? It wasn't good to start. Like, for example, say if somebody got raped when they were younger. You know, they didn't ask to get raped when they were younger. You know what I'm saying? But it may have carried on from something that, you know, the root is from uh, beginnings, like, when you were young, you know, in your youth. But they never forgave themselves or forgiven the person who did it. But they never forgave themselves, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, we still gotta, even if something happened to us and we weren't in control or felt like we weren't in control, and then we have to still move on because life moves on. You can't exist in the same space forever. That's just ridiculous. It's, it's crazy. I don't, I'm not feeling that and I don't, Man, it's, it's very heavy. It's burdensome just to even uh, think about it. That's like uh, somebody having a weight on them their entire life. They could be in their 60s or 70s. They have a weight on them their entire lives. I just, I feel bad for them. But at the same time, it's like, you know, you choose. You choose to be happy. You create your reality. And this person is incessantly boasting and egotistical and very arrogant and you know 
want it to be all about them. But as soon as you uh, they direct their attention on anybody else, it's always negative. And they're negative to you know with themselves as well. But it's always uh, projected on somebody else. They don't have anything positive to say about people who do positive things. And this person is intimidated of eyes energy. They are intimidated of the person who has power, who has willpower. And they lack willpower because they can't change this uh, hard, you know, suffering that they've been going through. And, and they can if, if they just really look within themselves, forgive themselves, and then everything will, you know, fall into place as far as uh, th their lives get better because they would want to do better. They'll know that, you know, be that little light, that love that they got for themselves and for other people, hopefully, <laughs> they'll be able to expand and get out of that existence, that negative existence. So if, if that's you, please, please, please do yourself a favor. Love on yourself. Nobody can love you better than you can love you. But first, you got to forgive yourself. Forgive yourself for, for allowing yourself to be victim. If it was just so happened that you was victim when you were younger or, or in the circumstances from your past when you, you know, you felt like you didn't have control over your life. You can't control everybody else's life now. It's you. You're the key. You're the solution. You're the answer. It's within. It's within you. So I'm just, this has been on my mental all day. And it has become a burden. And I, and what I know I'm going to do now um, to, you know, cope with it and just release it because I incessantly think about it. Because this actually has been on my mental, on my conscience for some months now. Because I've been analyzing people, you know, um, analyzing ourselves and, you know, just observing. Being an observer at times too in my hermit mode going deep within myself and, and going deep within um, the realms of, you know, viewing other people's consciousness and, and why they're this way and that way and stuff like that. So I've, I've done a lot of soul searching and, and also connecting with other people on a spiritual and energetic level. And I have noticed that for me to release it, I either got to speak it or I have to write it. So I'm going to go ahead and write... Uh, I'm thinking about writing lyrics because that's what I do, you know. I'm an artist, absolute artist. I write, I may write a poem or write a song, but I'm thinking I want to write a letter to these specific people that have been on my mental that's, you know, um, going through these things. And just so happen one day, if I need to give them that letter, I'll give it to them. But it's just really for me. I need to write the letter so it'll be off my, you know, out of my um, aura I'm really tired of that I'm really tired of it because it's like uh it's keeping me it's hindering me from doing other things that I'm supposed to be doing you know um high vibrational things like learning my music and you know um I have loads of music I could just choose a 16 bar and learn it but I haven't been doing these things because of this uh hard hard subject matter that's been on my mind so I'm gonna go ahead and release it today and there's gonna be a new moon soon so I'm definitely gonna do my new moon uh, rituals and I change up every time there's a new moon and a full moon and stuff like that it's pretty much what resonates with my spirit soul spirit how I feel so I might be feeling when I need to rewrite my own um, my affirmations and goals or something like that so I go ahead and do it but you know, it's, it's all whatever the soul spirit tells me I do. You know, I may go under the moon, the new moon outside and, you know, speak it. Or I may fast. I usually do fast. But, you know, it's, it's all, it ain't no right or wrong way to do it. It's however you feel. And if you feel like you have done it properly, it is done. I say. So thank you. For example, um, not for example. <laughs> I appreciate you, brother. Uh, the unsunken, unsunken one. I met you uh, a while back, a couple weeks ago. But I appreciate you. I looked up the word Amani, and I like that word. I'm gonna start using it. It means peace and harmony in Swahili. And then um, 
Aramaic, Arabic, it means uh, aspirations and desires, something along those lines. The only uh, word I knew uh, from Swahili was Yahuru, so, and that means freedom. So I got another one under my belt. I appreciate you. Much love to you. Namaste. Um, love, life, liberty, and positivity. Be the light. Continue to grow your light and enlighten yourself. Peace.